Okay, we're starting a new campaign today. And the mod list... Well, I'll just show you. I'll show you that now. So Harmony and all the usual stuff. We have the Coloradic Empire Unified mod, which makes the Empire 1. We have the Thessagen mod, Improved Garrison, Distinguished Service, Party AI Overhaul and Command, Diplomacy, True Arena Experience, Banner Pace, Fill Stacks, Perfect Fire Arrows, Righteous Executions, True Relations. Shields as they block things, Better Combat. Hmm. I think I'm missing something. Let me check. Oh, never mind. That's not the mod list. I added, a couple, I added the true battle loot back in because there's not that much samurai armor in shops for some reason. So. Sandbox, right? This one's gonna be quite difficult, actually, to... Well, it all depends on what the Empire is gonna do. And we'll see what happens. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like that, but anyway. Yeah, I'm I am gonna shuffle through until we get something... ...at least close to Asian-like. might take a while to be honest because there is no Asian type faction in the game base game it that is this might take a while especially if they smile like that I mean, the head is not there. You're supposed to be a lot shorter. Let's go with that. And there is like, like no like hair that actually suits it. Not really, anyway. Our hair is supposed to be black. Doesn't fucking look black, but sure. And the beard is kind of there, I guess. Works out. Let me, actually, let's check. Yeah, this one only looks kind of like Asian a little bit. It's fine. I am going to, going to spec into archery and cat horse horse archery for this one. Then again, it's easier it's easier to level up and get the skills I need with uh, these for the, like the social ones we need. Endurance. Let's go with leadership skills. Under the shape, nope. And smithy, no. Haunted small game. Yeah, road with the scouts. Battle, no. The village from a flood looks like it's gonna be the one. Let's save the village from a flood. I mean, I could have gone. I'm probably gonna look through the. Uh, already made banner paste banners I'm gonna switch to something else later on which one did I use in the last one or in the test one yeah this one even though it's gullic 
in the color of the faction is uh, yellow. I think it's this color. Let's go with white, though. Up cheer. All right. Uh, okay, so the family name is going to be Yoda, because that's the only one I didn't see in, like, the fancy names for the faction clans. They're all always, always taken from the, you know, historical clans that were in Japan. Oda. If I remember how to spell this, Nobunaga. Yeah, that's correct. I am going to play on warrior difficulty this time around. Yeah, Tessujin. That Tessujin, yeah. That's the one we're playing. Combat diff difficulty I'm gonna leave at normal. Persuasion, yeah, fine. I'll tell Kate clan member perks as well. No, I did a. It was, was kind of odd. Like I picked the like the Western Empire, and I was like, "Why the fuck aren't they red? What?" Then I remember the Valandians are actually red in the base game. And so far from the, like the, let's see how much did I play actually. Okay, ninety-one days. And the Empire actually lost a couple of towns in that playthrough. They like they lost this area here and this here it was taken by the Wallandians and the Kuzites down the, or Azerai down here. So even though they have, have like twenty k, you know, manpower, they can lose. Because they're stretched to across the, like the entire empire. Okay, first order of business. The same weapons. Run like a bitch to the Essigen territory. Infantry suffer them for troops and simulations. Right, let me fix these up real quick. We are going to be using a bow. Pointed to endurance as well. Uh, let's just dump all the points in these. For now. Damn right. Oh shit. I mean I could probably take them on. No, let's not. Okay let's take on these then. And I can, I, I seriously can't get used to the, like, reach of this fucking thing. Look at that. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Got the love when the AI just lines up, right? I should use the kunai first, right? I did uh, turn back the true battle loot on, or better battle loot, whatever it's called, because uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to buy any samurai armor, or weapons for that matter, I don't actually see him. And, uh,. I don't know all that much. Except except like the highest tier ones that cost a million denarius to get. Easy. Look look at the reach on this thing, jeez. Look at that. If only you can swing with it, right? OK, 
Okay, let's grab the food first. You yeah, look at that. Reach is a 540. 540, man. But the, usually the like reach on weapons is like 220. Low 200s. This is just, I mean, I don't fucking believe it. Look, look at that. Gija is OP. What do you mean? Bow? The Yumi Bow? See if there's anything better. Not really. Let's go buy value. Yari. You mean? And funnily enough, uh, look at the cost of it. 10k. You can't you even like find it early game. Like I didn't see it anywhere, so you can buy it in in the uh, markets at all. So you better hold on to this one. I don't think there's a way to buy them unless you craft them. I guess. Let's see how much of this stuff can we carry? All right, let me. Not that. Option. Options. True battle loot. Okay, that's still at 50%. Okay, now we need to make it over there without getting stampy, steppy bandits on us. Oh, sh. Well. Believe it, not, believe it or not, using fire arrows is actually uh, not good if you're, if you're playing in first person. You look, the reach is 500, like... That's a, actually a problem, like... You can't tell when to attack to get like the fullest, like, full damage on it, off of it. Plus the enemy can block as well. Funnily enough, the kunai actually do blunt damage, which is weird. All right, and the Yari is like um, messes up your aim because it's right in the middle. This is so easy, man. When you choose the AI like this. Until you run into enemy crossbowmen or something like that. We get one shot. Only enough we can actually hold prisoners. So let's get this old stuff out. And then grab what's the most valuable. I need to get the mule. Rusty sacks. Nope. Oh, never mind. Capacity is over, over, over capacity already. Okay, now. Oh, fuck. Well. Them I can fight. The steppy bandits I can't. <laughs> Maybe I should level up as well. While I still can. Headshot doesn't kill him as well.
I don't actually have that that many arrows for all these guys. I need to keep. I need to get the headshots. Yeah, first person ain't gonna work with the fire arrows. Oh, come on, looters. I just want to get to the f fancy stuff. The modded stuff. Come on. by a fucking millimeter. The one I open uh, open what open up one of those links one day. See where they lead. What kind of wires does it get you? Now comes the tricky bit. Oh, look at the Jesus. I mean, uh, imagine like enemy cab charging at you with with, the, with the, when you when your infantry has this thing. He blocked. And I do actually need to go get the faster horse so we can actually couch lance this. Oh, come on, guy. You have two HP. He's gonna kill me if I get off the horse though. You don't have any like... You know what? Uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna get me, you know, imprisoned or not at this point. Okay, there we go. can't hold any of this. Yep. Please let me get over there. Right, let me level up as well. Three points. Okay, max these out. Not really sure what's gonna be the next one to max out. This is fine. I'm gonna be switching to a two-handed weapon, so we're gonna put into po point into that. Decrease your bow accuracy allows you to movement, or increase your headshot damage bonus by with bows. I think the movement one is gonna be better. Increase maneuvering, increase maneuvering speed. I do have fill stacks on. Okay, right, let me show you the the exact mod list. I am gonna add this to the guild server like once I finish this. Tesogen, party AI, or oh, sure, yeah, fill stacks is on. Righteous executions, true battle load. Yeah. Fields they blocked in, better combat, realistic AI module as well. As well. Oh, finally. Good, there's like low level recruits. 
I had an issue where I was just running to high-end recruits. And I was playtesting this. Hopefully there's a couple of mules. There are. We get to... Let's get five. Come on, ambush. We can't do that yet. Yeah, look at, look at these guys. Heavy recur bow, st stack steppy arrows, heavy mace. I mean, these would I uh, would be I'd say like uh, adventurers for prophecy of Pandora or something. Like, you know, these are the ones you want to recruit if you just want to run around pillaging and all that. They do cost eighteen hundred though, so. recruit a couple like 10 for now I need to find some quests let me jump into the arena for a little bit as well we can get some athletics and uh, athletics and uh, one handed weapon skill two handed maybe They call me the Javelin Dodger. I should stop saying that. Mm, I think that fucking... Uh, javelin Tower actually got me, not the melee guys there. one more need to get some skill up because we're the one ones that we're actually gonna be you know killing most of the enemies and our infantry has no shield so running into steppy bandits is gonna be uh, awful or desert ones for that matter I did notice that the like Tessogen weapons are super freaking fast if you find them. I'll show you once we once we get into the market. Should have killed this guy first. No no no. Ignore me, come on. Yeah, shoot him in the back. Come on. Never mind then, I guess. Let me let me regenerate some posture. Oh, no, ah shit. Look at this motherfucker blocking everything. Game reading inputs as always. So lovely to see. 
Uh, we'll just remove these. <laughs> oh shit. Fuck you, okay. Okay, let me just look at the weapons. Great. See, see yeah, another problem is like, you, are we actually gonna see anything? Okay, we can find the tournament, Nag Nagamaki. Look at the speed on it. Swing speed 109. And that's a two handed weapon. Look at the Naginata. Empty four cut damage, swing speed 69, reach or length 273. I mean, with this, you can be a mile away from the enemies and still hit them. Naginata as well, look at that. A length of 134. I mean, this is five, four, 540, so normal spears only have like 220 lances as well, somewhere around there. As, as it comes to bows. I'm not actually sure which ones. I know these are the, the fire arrows. Look at that. Are they actually on fire? But these? Let me see. Okay, we're gonna sell that real quick. Let me actually grab the fire, fire, fire arrows. They do the same amount of damage see if they're on fire. I think the mace arrows are uh, modded as well. I'm not sure about the other ones because I don't use bows all that often. You can look at this. Piece of armor. Nice. Decision. See, there's not a lot of armor here. Yeah, let's go like right we need some more food like ho hopefully the villages around here are gonna have like actually something to do otherwise I did, uh, then again we don't actually need to stay in like a uh, Tessujin territory we can move to the Azurai a little bit because it's so on we did make a, like, like 11k easily 20k easily my test run. Can we actually catch up? Yes, we can. Yeah, you're in time. We just started like half an hour. I mean, this is the beginning, so there's not much to, to it. The clan name is Zelda Nobunaga because there is no like clan in the see clans desigen yeah there's there's all of these okay never mind there is Oda. oh that's mine never mind i didn't see a nobunaga here so of course we're gonna be the one who unites the empire even though that's not historically accurate i don't think so Right, Sammy, if you have a have an idea for the banner or a code for it, send it in. And the mods are pretty much the same as the last one. Except of course the unified empire. And um Well, Desigen mod of course. Now I did play a uh, uh like 90 days on, on our test run. And I didn't see the Empire like actually take anything. They only lost a couple of lands that were the Ezrai territories and the Valandians. And they actually and the Batanians actually took something from them as well. My surprise. Yeah, did you see the fucking length of these things? 520. Or 40. Like, Christ. How is the enemy cav supposed to get to you, I guess? Oh, 
And I did manage to, like, uh, have a decent strategy against enemy archers or ranged units as well. I would waste their ammunition myself. Like it's total war. Oh, and by the way, Sammy, tomorrow I'm gonna start the DVD and the pair up campaign if everything goes to plan. Well, a couple of friends might call me to grab a beer or something, see what happens, or when it, that happens. Is yes, it is. Let's keep all the loot for now. Stones, man, we got stones. Just look at this again. So these guys get the Yari. These guys get the Naginata, which I guess is an upgrade over that. Look at the swing speeds on these things. Jesus, man. So it might be actually a better idea to just keep a lot of veteran and Shigaru on you. Because Yari. I mean, y Yari. Why would you not? Or just turn them all into Cav, I guess. 540 reach. That's so fucking broken. Dax, the piano is War Yumi. I haven't figured out the party composition yet. I want to have like it later on. Let's see. Right, uh, this your mount hit points. Yeah, sure. I think we want to go for like ignoring the armor of the enemy. Nah, let them go, they're not worth it. Okay, no missions, no missions. Okay, these guys are coming at me. The first time around, I did recruit some uh, better units at the beginning. Like the noble units. Not sure how these are gonna fare against looters. Hmm. Imagine if the game the game had like a phalanx formation. Like a shield wall, but the phalanx. Or the Yari wall, I guess you would call it. I guess. Yeah, th th these guys are gonna suck versus uh, everything just because. Uh, eh, unless they keep him at bay like that. No, they're not all of them have the same weapon. Oh, I did try the gunpowder version of the mod, but uh, I was actually surprised that it was like uh, it turns all the factions into Tessogen faction with guns. I kind of don't want that. I look more enemies to fight. shot from here okay kind of close yeah 
I can't tell I'm blind. I guess this will satisfy the guys who want me to play a skirmish or cow, cow or something like that. Because we are gonna have a bunch of skirmish or cal cavalry with us. Hopefully. And this is on the, like the... Not the normal or the easiest difficulty, but the one in the middle. But it's not the hardest, like the last one. Just because the Empire is um, well united. Huh? Flag is ready. Okay. Give me a second. And the mod pack, if you check the like uh, the PMs, I was I was like actually thinking we could actually just use that because I mean they're maps. Apparently you can't use that because the gate the mod with the map pack wasn't updated, sadly. It's a bit sad. Fucking with your sticks, man. Come on. Maybe I should play Total War Shogun too instead of uh, uh, David Ant Impera, right? <laughs> Would be more fitting, right? Bunch of worthless shit. <laughs> uh, I guess it works. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the faction on this one, on this playthrough. Am I like gonna join a faction or what I, exactly I'm gonna do? But we'll see. Or I mean create my own. I don't think I will, but we do have Diplomacy mod on, so we can always just... Um... Yeah, the these are the ones I want, because these guys have blunt weapons. Yeah, the cannibal, the big stick to beat the enemies with. You had a mace. And we can turn them into skirmishers as well. These guys are basically your uh, man hunters, I guess you would call them. Slavers. We still got food. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Let me kill these real quick, then I'll see if I can grab their own in as well, because they got some decent armor on them and the weapons. Foot move, stand apart, infantry move, go. Although it might not be easy to defeat them. What's up, Plum Bum? Yeah, I would send you one video I found on TikTok. A guy literally stuck together uh, uh, Dunya, Shiva, e Kaisia. Like th three three rakias together, together, like three bottles together somehow. And they fit perfectly. He sells it like that. Yes, indeed, save, save yourselves. Five meter Yari. Five and a half meter Yari. Which 
there's no escape from it, man. Look at the fucking length of this thing, jeez. Grab them. Let's actually share with the... Ooh. Nah, let's go with Japanese weapons once we actually get them. Okay, now... Let's put the point into... All arms as well. I think these guys should chase me. Or they would just not give a flying fuck, I guess, for a moment. Let me actually see what happens. I was hoping they, like, stay in, like, um, Uh, Yari wall formation. Yeah, I was, I'm, I'm gonna start the uh, uh, David 8 and Para playthrough tomorrow, but I'm, I'm like thinking, hmm, Total War Shogun 2. It's Long Yari. Uh, which clan was it? I think the Oda has the Long Yari. Ashigaru. How convenient that they're just gonna sit there to get shot, wait and wait to get shot. Convenient as fuck, boy. Come on, headshot should kill a man. All right, and, and if anyone has like so, uh, soundtrack ideas or music ideas, post them. I am using the Total War Shogun 2 soundtrack. Katana beats Spears, guys. Poke him, come on. There you go. Okay, these guys should have some better stuff on them. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, I'm gonna use this sword. Ah, let's let's keep arrows on us as well. Well-made pitchfork. That's what we need. Mm, right, where we're we going this way. We're gonna go here, then here. We're gonna basically like circle around this area here until we get to clan level one. Oh, don't mind if I grab more Ronin. You see, bow accuracy lose due to rotation. That's the only game, legit game you have. Come on now. Epic Game Store is giving out free games every two weeks or something like that. There was like Company of Heroes 2 was free. War Honor was free at some point. And King Cruiser's low speed is gonna help us more. Can I actually catch him? No, I cannot. Unless they decide to go come at me. This is gonna be. This is gonna be. Move, 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 go. I got to hope they stay in. F oh shit. Yeah, this one might not go well. Fucking bushes, man. Okay. I ain't getting this guy, so let's uh, poke these. 
Well, let's book the Oshers back there. Let's see how good is this as Lance, even though I, I'm shit with... Finally, I hit a rock or something. Rising Storm in Vietnam. I played that for a little bit. I think I grabbed it on like a humble bundle at some point. Was pretty cheap or was part of a humble choice. And I still got the classic plan, which is like $12 or 20 uh, Weiss Maraca. Or 12 games. Yeah, get, get stuck. Get stuck. This fucking bush, man. Oh, we lost all, all our infantry. Yeah, I can't tell. I can't tell the reach of this thing. No way. Plus, you act to the fact that we actually can't catch up to them. There we go. We lose a couple, but we're close to a town, so we should be fine. Right. Uh, these are going to be the sword, the Nagamaki infantry, Naginata. Uh, I'm not that familiar, so I, like I don't know the difference really. I mean, a sword? I know the Nagata is like a big ass sword or something like that. Or like a spear, but a, like a shorter spear with a bigger sword type thing on the end of it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, we're starting to look the part, kind of. Run, run. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't go come at us. Hmm, maybe I should have recruited some of them, right? Let's sell the stuff. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I mean, in theory, it should be the same as these, right? Oh, we can already... How much does it cost? Okay, we're gonna get 41k, so... Let's just upgrade immediately. Let's grab a couple of horses as well. Let's grab all of them, actually. Uh, that's not enough of an upgrade. I want to play the Wheel of Time mod, but isn't compatible with version 1. Which one is that? I don't know which one that is. Okay, we have a decent amount of food, but let's get some more. Some fish. Meat. Now. Let's actually look at the weapons first. I'm thinking of grabbing this one. Just so we have more prisoners at the start. Let's see what else is available. Oh, nothing. This is what I mean. Like, there's not all that many weapons when it comes to. Or armors, for that matter. From the faction, unfortunately. Eight. Weapon tier. Apparently this is weapon tier 5. What? 
86, bow 70, speed 88, missile speed is better, everything's better. Except the piercing damage. It's lower by 10. Um, Miss arrows, you only get six of them. and we're not gonna see Yari any, anytime soon. They do have shields. But like tournament shields only. They don't actually have infantry shields, which is the big, big problem with us. Don't worry, you're gonna get... Ooh, yeah, that, that fits perfectly, I guess. Uh, the only problem, like, when you run into enemies with a lot of arch... Oh god, fighting the Ezra and Kuzai is gonna be a nightmare. These cost 16k. And the rest of the shit is what we sealed off. Yeah, look at that. We got the full upgrade. For everything. Okay, there we go. No recruits, unfortunately. Gang needs weapons. Nope. I do have fill stacks mods on, so um, there's not gonna be that many troops on the lords. Or shouldn't be anyway. I was hoping for something like uh, noble troops. We're shit out of luck, apparently. Okay, that's not gonna have anything. Let's have a quest. Art of trade. Let's see if we can... Yeah, we got both of them into the battle. Yeah! This is this is a perfect map for this. One shot, baby. Like, if you don't... I need to get this range of this thing right. Anything with the range weapons is gonna be a nightmare. But uh, you can always use the handy dandy cheese mechanic of like just running in front of the enemy so they waste their ammunition. Well, um, I, I was doing that on the easiest difficulty, so I'm not gonna... I'm not sure how well it's gonna go on this one. Without a shield. Well... We just need a fast horse. Oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna hit him with a big stick. Come here, come here. I don't think we can actually catch him. Yes, we can. He's gonna kill me like this, though. Maybe aggroing them wasn't the best idea, right? I mean, I'll find a way. I played enough Total War to kind of have an idea how to deal with strange armies. And the answer to that is a lot of horse horsemen. And to have more uh, range troops than them. And waste their ammunition. So, like, that's the three things you need. You have you have to have the cav advantage, the archer advantage, and the And waste their ammunition. Somehow, some way. Infantry is actually pretty good on the Desogen faction. They do a shitload of damage and attack really fast. Mm. Okay, let's keep one of these just in case. Oh yeah, this this is what we got to wear, man. See, 
increase your damage with bones while mounted. Yes. The nomadic tradition, carry capacity pack animals, mountain infantry increases. I think I'm gonna go with this one. We don't, even though we don't have any mounted infantry at this point. Um, the tactics leadership should be fine for now. Um, let's put the point into pole arms. All right, we're going this way. Jesus Christ, there's, uh, this is what we want. A ton of these. We are gonna need more horses, though. I mean, you can always, like, since the... Yeah, like, hey, yeah, look at that. Already being besieged. Here as well. I did see them lose this area here in Lagata. And these two castles in my test run. And the Sturgeons and the Kuzais didn't actually push in at all. And the Ezra actually lost this. Or no, these two. And uh, my faction took it over. If the camp watches and hide an army of 800, we all head in a valley between two. <laughs> We'll wall their asses until they ran dry. I mean, you can always, like, recruit Empire troops, right? Or any other ones that have shields, you know? I mean, that's how most people play play these games. Mountain Blade and Bannerlord. Or Warband and Bannerlord. They recruit the best of units from each faction and use, use, use them like that. They don't, they don't go race-specific. Or faction specific specific troops like we do. Family feud. Now I'm not gonna do that one. Right, let's let's actually grab all of these. All the food as well. Why the hell not? We can get that. So we already have five of these. Look at them looking fancy. Hmm. The only problem I found so far with the Testogen faction, uh, a lot of the lords go into, well, most of them have like lower tier troops. Right, they don't have archers now. Battling. Keep my Yari behind theirs. Now, uh, when it comes to DVD at Impera tomorrow, I am gonna be taking it real freaking slow on that campaign, so don't expect too much. With me, like. Two or three hours to, well, two hours to like unify the Italian peninsula. Oh, come on, stop aiming at me. I'm not, I'm not a threat. Let's like tell him to just sit there and shoot at the enemy. Why is my aim shit now? It's looking fine like a moment ago. Look at the fucking attack speed on these guys. 